Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the long awaited series. I want to give a shout out to you guys for making this possible. For showing the support you did on the Buck video, for showing the support from me as a YouTuber, as an upcoming YouTuber, I thought that I'm growing. I know I'm not perfect. I thought that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. You have made the impossible happen. I am now officially able to say I am partnered with and actually working with right now Squad Farms and Buck, aka known as the Real Man, and aka known as and squad the squad ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you so very much for making this possible ladies and gentlemen this is a dream come true or thought that um i hopefully y'all enjoy this episode or thought that we've got a lot planned for y'all and ladies and gentlemen as time goes on i'm gonna kind of figure out my own way i want to do stuff with this series that is what the plan is we're gonna have more stuff we're gonna do here and there um it's gonna be a very interesting on how we're gonna do things and this is what we're going to do. We're going to show each other what we're going to do. I thought that. But ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoy the video. And until next time, see you later, guys. How's it going, everybody? I just got here on my new truck. I thought that. I figured I'd start me in my own little series where I record my own stuff. Yeah. Hey, Great uncle. Here. I yeah. got a question. You said you were looking for a grain cart, right? Yeah, if you can find a grain cart, we take a grain cart. We don't have the money right now, but we should once we sell some grain. Well, over there at Richard's house, he has a grain cart sitting out front with a for sale sign. I think his wife's making him get rid of it. Wait, how do you know Richard? Well, I... Did Buck tell you about him and Nancy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's down at Richard's place. What is it? It looks like a Kinsey. Okay. Uh, what model? No clue. Didn't look that hard. Okay. Is it new or old? Looks a little bit newer. Okay. Okay. Well, um, be perfect for us. I'll meet you. Do you, do you talk to Richard? Or do you, can you have Buck talk to Richard? Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. I just was going by the other day when I was going to meet some of my friends. But uh, we can go look at it together. Okay. Okay, I'll, uh, how far away are you? I'll meet you down there. I'm at Buck's house. Okay, yeah, okay, perfect. Um, I'll race you down there. Grab Buck's checkbook also. Oh, all right, got we might that. need it. I already okay. had that before I left. Okay, sounds good. We'll see you down there. You know, Nate, before you were born... Wait, how old are you? 19. Yeah, before you were born, me and Buck were here buying a Alice Chalmers uh, four-wheel drive. This exact spot. Richard had one for sale. We bought it from him. We got rid of it. You probably don't even know what it is. Too young. But anyways, got a Kinsey 1050. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This is, these just came out in like 1999 or 2000 might have been the, this is like a, I bet you this thing isn't even six months old. Must last three months. He must have just got this. Oh, why would he already be selling it? Richard, I, I don't know. It's tough to. Richard is tough he to predict. Probably bought it without permission. Yeah, maybe his new wife's making him sell it. That's that's my only guess. Probably. It's nice. It's top of the line. I don't think there's any issues with it, dude. This would go good on the quad track too. This this now Buck. There's no way in heck Buck's gonna let us go. Wait, Buck was talking about getting a grain cart. Hey, there's Richard. Oh, what car is he driving? Oh no, he's he's done well for himself for himself the past couple of years. It's a Trans Am. That's a that's a seventy one. That was that was maybe. Man, how you doing? Hey, Richard. Long yeah, time no see. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? Good, good. Sweet. Well, uh, see, I, I see you called me earlier. Someone left a voicemail. Not me. Someone, someone left me a letter that said they were interested in the car. And by the by the terms of money, I know that that's you. Well, I think I think it was my nephew Nate here. Nate, this is Richard. Oh. Richard, this is Nate. How you me doing? And... Hi, nice doing to meet this. you. Yeah, how are you? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Me and Richard, or me, me and Richard, go way back, Nate. Um, what? Five oh, years old, six years old. Oh, we definitely to... since grade school. Definitely yeah. since grade school. Yeah, and then I bought some equipment from him over the past. Good guy here. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I'll tell you what, that Nancy chick, I heard she was trying to hook up with um, some skank down at the bar last week, and she still can't get herself uh, carried up. I told you I'd dump that lady, that was the best decision of my life. I've had more money to blow through and things to go shopping with, and I've kept this place up and running more better than it's ever been. It looks good. It looks oh, good. Yeah. You've th- you've done well since since you got mm-hmm. rid of Nancy. So, now you probably wonder why I'm getting rid of a brand new cot for almost half the price. Correct? Yeah. Is it really much. half the price? No, it's, it's a little bit cheaper than it should be, probably. But that's also because I'm more of a wheeler dealer now. I get the work out of the co-op. I get the I buy new equipment here, and then I sell it and buy and trade and buy at auctions. Oh, so you're really reselling selling this. Things. Uh-huh. That's how oh, I got okay. your brother's truck. You know, I heard he keeps telling me right now. Apparently, he's at his in-laws doing something with a late Thanksgiving. But uh, he, uh, he was saying that's how he got his truck. I bought, that, I bought his Chevy from him for about the same price as I did that. So it was a wash. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So they quit giving bad. him heck for that. Yeah. Because he doesn't yeah. deserve it. He's, yeah, bucks. Yeah. It's all good. But either way, let's get to this con, all right? I see you like this little 1050, don't you? What? How long ago did somebody buy this? It's only a couple months old. Oh, yeah. This thing, the guy, uh, I, some guy bought it, didn't want it, because he ended up finding a parka that he likes better. But then he sold this back to that. I went to the auction, got this, and apparently the auction wasn't very well advertised in the papers. So I ended up buying it for a steal, uh, roughly, I'd say about a third, if not even almost half of its price tag. Just because of the fact that there was, it's stupid. It was stupid. I got it for a steal. But I'm going to try and sell this thing for about fifty, uh, forty-five to $50,000 is what I'm looking for. Roughly fifty, Because these things can book for about seventy. Okay. Okay. No known issues with it? No. The only thing that could possibly be wrong, and if that is the reason the guy got rid of it, I don't know. There might be splices in the hydraulics, but I've checked over this thing. It should be 100% ready to go. Everything's uh-huh. big. There's hardly any scrapes on the paint. Yeah, not bad. Hey, I gotta tell you something, all right? You see this yellow staff right here? Yeah. Don't stick your fingers where you wouldn't stick your willy. I know a guy that had that happen one time, and next thing you know, and let's just say things went the the, uh, the straightest for him. Richard, was that you that did it? No, I'm still intact. But you are. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stick your fingies where you wouldn't stick your willy. Now, if you really want a woman, what they really got to get is you got to get rid of that Chevy over there. You got to get yourself a Ford or something that's actually going to, you know, get the ladies. Or even this yourself a, a crew cab, a crew cab second, a first gen Cummins. I got a second one. You know how many women that car, that truck brings to Bugs' house? There's always zero women because they're always there for him, not you. Oh, no, 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 no. But don't know about it, but I've been using the spare bedroom for uh, my own personal use. <laughs> if I could have a lie detector right now, I swear, I think it'd be going through the woof. I don't know about all that now. <laughs> oh, fifty thousand forty-five. Fifty. Forty-five. Hold 50. up, hold up. We just got the money right now, Nate. Yeah. I'm trying to negotiate here. Forty-five. Fifty. It's starting to sound more like it, more like this guy. Forty-five. At least the other, at least the other brothers got some common sense. No, I want fifty thousand dollars. I'm not gonna lose my skin on this one. Like my buddy who was too close to the yellow shaft. Forty-seven. Give us some wiggle room here now. We both know you. Do I look we both like know my, my bond head to you? No. $50,000 and that's firm. This man is a bone head. Come on. You, you, uh, uh, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me explain something to you, all right? Each and every day, I get better at negotiating. I do this for a living. You're only 19. You ain't got nothing in this experience. You have no idea what it's like to lose your skin multiple times and also be screwed over by a woman. All right? I Until you can understand I that, I don't want to hear any word that comes out of you. Yeah, that's a half your problem. I don't want to I used to have a shitty feeling, you, you know what? That's what happened. That's how I picked up my other ex-wife. Can you believe this guy? This guy's a joke. He thinks he knows the world. He's only 19. 47. That's the end of the discussion. I'll give you a check for it. $50,000. I got to get back to work off my lunch break. Richard, we'll give you a 49. 50000 the bonehead. He won't work on the price at all. Well, I don't, it's not worth 50. 
I I say we we leave. That Sammy's not even worth two. Well, we can't afford it right now. We'll have to come back or something. I if he lowers his price, we'll take it. But fifty k, she's a little high. Well, we'll have to come. We'll 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 think about it, Nate. We'll think about it. Yeah. Let's go back to Harbison. Hey, Nate, you got a copy? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you happen to know where my Chuck? It was laying on the counter. This, I thought it was laying on the counter this morning, and I uh, went to go look, and it wasn't there. Any particular reason why that's gone? Uh, no. Last time I heard anything about it was my uncle told me to grab it for we need to get like a grain. Hey, hey, shit! What? Hey, whoa! We need to grab it for groceries for donation. He was trying to say. We had to donate Third some way canned to say soup. Gravity. Canned soup. You needed canned soup. Yep. Uh, children. Why would you need a checkbook for There's canned an soup? FF, uh, FFA children's donation. I know donation. you carry cash in your wallet. Why did you have my checkbook? They were only taking checks. The kids only want checks. It was for was FFA, it Future along Farmers the lines of America. Of that cart that are, are I know you, Richard's you sure? trying to sell? Uh, yeah. Is that the kind of canned food? Is it canned Kinsey? Yeah, no. that's kind of. I think that's what it was. You think? Guys, he wants fifty thousand dollars for that. It would increase productivity. You know what the research says. I mean, Kinsey came out with research that yeah, says. and I'm already as far as up behind on my thing with the payments of anything else that we already own. Well, that's why. You know, I would check, but that's why if it would have bounced, it would have bounced. We would. Yeah, and that's record. gonna look good on my credit score. Fuck, hear me out. Unlike you, I actually have to keep track of the finances. Oh, wait, that's right. You were spoon-fed by your mother. So were you. Hear me uh, out, Buck. Uh, yeah, there's a reason that I'm the one leading this farm's finances. Hear me out, Buck. The reason we need a grain cart is because a grain cart basically adds the efficiency of another combine almost. So, if it's December, you this just corn... just want more sparkling we're... objects on this farm. We're losing yield right now, Buck. It's December first, and we don't even have our we don't have ten percent of our corn acres out. That's not my problem. That you took a week's vacation to Tahiti. It was snowing. It was snowing. You can't oh harvest in the, when it's downpouring and snow. We got to get going, man. <laughs> you were with family, having a a family with the in laws stuff. Yeah, and if I don't, I get served divorce papers. There's a difference. I already don't spend enough time with her. Now you take me out of that as well? Oh, man, you're asking for me to just to have a downfall in my relationship. What the heck do you expect out of me? Just put her in the grain cart. That'll yeah. work good. She can spend more time with us. I was about to say, you have problems with her? I mean, she she loves me. She feeds me. She, she doesn't love you at all. She puts on a face so that she can even deal with you. No, no, she loves me. She was giving me chocolate cake yesterday. She was giving me all kinds of stuff. No, no, yeah, you no. ever heard of uh, the gingerbread house story? How the witch just plumped them up so she could get rid of them? That's probably what she's doing. And I don't know why I don't just pack up and move out from you guys. That is done. Okay, boys, let's head Watch up. out. Let's okay, head over to uh, the back 60 right behind my house there. I opened that field up. Let's knock it out. There we go. Nate's unloading into us. And we'll be full soon here. There we go. We are full. We'll see you, Nate. See ya. Uncle Grant, I got a question. Yep. Since we're buying that grain car, as we buy the grain car, can we buy two more wagons, uh, big wagons? Well, it'd be kind of nice. I don't know. If we have the money, maybe. We'll see. This tractor can be, I don't know if it can pull two big wagons. I mean, then get an upgrade tractor. Let's upgrade everything. Well, <laughs> gotta save some money. I'll come back and make sure we save money. You two do realize I'm still within range to hear you on the CB, right? Hey, I'm trying to save some of our money. Be Actually, that's the most logical words I think I've ever come, I've heard come out of your mouth, but dang, does he sure sound a lot like you. In the world of farming today, Buck, if you're not growing, you're dying. So we got to keep up with the times. Technology, well, if I'm not broke, I'm broke. Equipment. And if I'm broke, I am broke. So either way, I'm still having to fork 98% of the bill. Basically, Buck, with these ag cycles that are happening now, we're trying to stay alive as prices are poor. But when grain prices go up, two good years pay for the decade. And that's kind of how we're trying to play this. Be profitable every year. Not You don't have to be crazy profitable in the bad years. Try and be profitable. But on the good years is really when we'll capture the upside. 
So that's, I think, the goal and how we're trying to play this. Go big or go home. But the way we keep going up in money, I'm going to say this. We sure as all get out. I'll be to buy me a new truck. Hopefully Uncle Buck don't get too mad at me if I decide to buy me a Ford. Uncle Buck, do you think it's about time for me to trade the Chevy in and get me a Ford? Yes. Okay. Anything but that old square, you know, anything but that old OBS. Suppose you're full back there, Nate. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm full. You so you and Dustin are both full, aren't you? Uh, Dustin, not so much. I put I him see in the, on my way. I put him in the slow one, and I got me in the fast one. So if anything, just uh, I'll flip around here, drop the header, and once we start unloading, just go. Oh. No, I'm good. Righto, we're going to keep on rolling. My uncles are getting everything done over there. They're going to be joining us over here on this farm here pretty soon. Making everything look all nice and shiny out here. Going to have us as a good old time. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of this stuff going on. We're knocking this stuff out as fast as we possibly can. Uh, Butts over there unloading him. I'm over here getting this rest of this side done. We're chugging along, people. Ain't nothing, but we got some good old corn head running right now. Especially since we upgraded to the N7 over there. I mean, whew. We doing some work now. Well, guys, I am proud to pay, say, pay, say, whatever. We have $50,000 loan right now. We are going to pay this loan off with the money we have. We're getting a lot of money in from Harvest, and so we are going to become debt free. Right now. We're debt free. We are making money. No operating loan, no land loans, nothing. Uncle Buck, how long do you get before he gets another loan? I give him a week. If that. I agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for coming to watch today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I want to give the shout out to you. I want to give the shout out to Grant. I want to give the shout out to Butt, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.